soul family, my soul tribe, light workers, star seeds out there, friends. I missed you all. I am back. Uh, so this is my new location. I still have the same bed spread and Sandy somewhere in the background. So um, before we get started with the readings, you know that I always do a mini meditation with my, of course, uh, singing bowl. So of course, I'm going to invoke, uh, you know, my higher self, spirit, the universe, my fairies, uh, my archangels, my angels, earth, mother earth, also to sustain the healing and uh, the singing bowl and the readings. And of course, last but not least, I'm going to invoke uh, my ancestors. So I will be clearing you and uh, just uh, take a deep breath in. And whatever it is that's bothering you in the daytime, whatever it is, not just in the daytime, but on an everyday basis, if there's something that's like really heavy or stagnant, okay, and you just need to relax, uh, just close your eyes if you want and listen to the singing bowl. So let's get started. on the side for a second and I just want to say a big thank you to all of you uh, to, that have been uh, sending love to my mom um, who have been praying for my mom or my family a big thank you my mom says thank you very much and she's still praying for you uh, three times a day here on YouTube and also on the collective and yes she has her good days but she also has her bad days and so again she thanks you for uh, letting her lean on you sometimes too so when she really needs it and so she asked me to say that to you and uh, so I am relaying the message so um, we want to send you if you want to just take a second we want to send you um, a hug a virtual hug to everybody out there uh, close your eyes if you like and you don't have to and uh, just feel from the heart chakra my mom and I Joannina and I are sending all of you out there a hug of love peace um, and um, happiness and also um, light. Again, I want to thank everybody here for those of you that have been supporting me on this journey. Um, as much as you, I have your back, I know that all of you have my back. And uh, so again, a big thank you to all of you YouTubers and also those of you that are in my community for 27 years. Thank you very much for all being here. And now I know that a lot of you have been waiting for the readings, so let's get started with the readings. I'll be right back. Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from November 1st to the 7th of 2021. I hope that you're doing well. How are you all doing? Well, I really hope that you're all doing well at this time. And uh, so let's get started with your reading. I do have a new deck that I'm gonna be using as well. It's, uh, for, it's an Oracle deck. So let's get started. It's with the Ascended Masters. So I'll get started with this deck. Then after that, I will give you also your animal totem. Uh, what is it that you need to surrender to? What is your challenge and your angel numbers before we start the reading? Okay, so 
let's get started. And I will also give you additional messages from the Ascendant Masters. Sagittarius. Are you for Sagis? What is the message here? What do you want? Artistic expression. Paul the Venetian. Vin 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 Paul the Venetian, artistic expression. So let's look at this. I will give you the additional, like I said, meanings of the card. Take a class to learn a new artistic skill. One of your loved ones is an artist. Express your true feelings. Your life's purpose involves an artistic endeavor such as writing or playing music. And it says here, you have hidden talents that lie dormant. This trapped energy can make you feel tired, restless, and anxious, and can lead to addictions if, if the energy isn't expressed. Even if your artistic uh, abilities feel unpolished, they need an outlet. Make the time today to draw, paint, sing, sing. Play music, write, take photographs, make jewelry, sew, dance, or do something artistic and creative. You may find the key to your life purpose and ideal career through this process. All right, so this is your card, artistic expression. So now we're going to look at your animal totems to see which one is your animal totem this week. What are the angels associated with you and what's the message there for you? Animal totem of the week is the bee. Archangel Primalink. It says, spread heart healing with joy. Spread heart healing with joy. Bee totem for this week. And now we're going to see what is your challenge of the week. Sagittarius. says here, surrender to your full power, Sagittarius. Your life is calling for you to step into, step to your full power rather than playing it small. So your life is calling for you to step to your full power rather than playing it small. So surrender to your full power. Now we're going to look at which angel numbers will be with you this week. From November 1st to the 7th. Let's see. What are your numbers this week? All right, you've got your numbers. We'll start with the number five. I am a, I am adaptable. Uh, Sagittarius flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavors. So number five. The next card you got is number 16. 16, I am perceptive. Sagittarius, you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have to a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. The next card you've got is number 77, I am brave. Sagittarius, it's time to move on from the old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. 
And last but not least, you got 888, I am abundant. Sagittarius, as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. So if you see these numbers this, this week, this will be a confirmation of this reading. So now let's get started with your reading, Sagittarius. This reading is for Sagittarius Sun and anywhere that you have Sagittarius in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this, will be the right time for you. If the reading makes sense, and it resonates, claim it with all your heart. But if it doesn't and you're confused, then look at all of, uh, look at your other placements okay, on your in your chart. For those of you that want to know how to get a free chart, you go to astrologycafe.com or astro.com. Okay, and in this reading, I will show you your recent past. I will show you your current energy. I will show you the immediate future. I will also show you what is hidden from you and then the possible outcome. And then I will clarify the cards in which Spirit wants me to clarify for you. After that, whatever signs that show up in your reading will have a bonus round, heart to heart, soul to soul. And right after that, I will give you a crystal card. I will give you a sacred geometry card. And last but not least, a card from the universe. So your cards are ready one more time they're saying okay one more time there we go let's get started with your reading such what's going on for such there is Okay, in the overall energy, Sagittarius, you've got the sun reversed. There's been a lot of disappointments, okay, heartache or disappointments in the situation here. For some of you, you're not feeling passionate around, you're not feeling passionate within you, you're not feeling motivated in a situation, okay? Um, in the recent past, you got the two of swords reversed followed by the nine of wands reversed. It's about you seeing through the veil, Sagittarius, seeing the truth. Okay, and making a decision. By making whatever this decision, it left you vulnerable. Okay, so there's a type of situation that you were dealing with. Now, Sagittarius, I am channeling and reading about you, but feel free to swap the energies if you feel it's about someone else, okay? So there's something left you uh, vulnerable here in a situation where it was very difficult and it feels like there was always like a black cloud around you in the situation here, okay? Now, what Spirit wants you to focus on is your finances, for some of you, with the King of Pentacles. This is about stability. It's about being reliable. It's about being the king or the queen of your castle, right? It's about success and, and, and being diplomatic and practical in a situation which brings you freedom. So Spirit wants you to focus on that. Now, in the immediate, uh, in the current energy, you got the Wheel of Fortune reversed with the Five of Wands reversed. There's some type of delay for this uh, Wheel of Fortune to take place. Okay, so there's a delay here. Now, Jupiter just went stationed, but it's still in the shadow side, right? As I'm doing this reading, as I'm currently like, doing this reading. So there's delays where there's a point in a situation where there's been a lot of fighting, drama, ego, jealousy. It's it's being released from you at this time. 
But at the same time with the moon energy and Neptune, there's a lot of fears. There's things that you're not seeing yet. Some things are still not out on the shadow work or some something has to come up to reveal itself, okay? Um, there's a lot of fears and difficult moments and some of you are feeling uncertain on your path right now, okay? There's like on your journey, whatever it is, there's some type of certainty. And some of you have to face your own fears. Face You need to face something in the current energy. In the uh, in immediate future, you got the Ace of Swords. So the Divine is coming in to give you clarity, to release, to remove the fog. It's about communication. It's about creative ideas, being sharp and focused, okay, and seeing clearly. In the hopes and fears, you got the Seven of Wands reversed, which follows with the Five of Wands, which follows with the Two of Swords reversed. Okay, so you feel defeated in this situation. A lot of you, whatever this had to do with the, this, this decision that you took, you truly feel defeated in a situation that it was unfair for some of you. In the What is hidden from you is the Nine of Swords. So this is about you sleep, not sleeping at night. It's about thinking about someone or something or many things. It, worry is a waste of emotion. It doesn't change anything when you worry. It just drains you a lot. So this is about not sleeping at night in a situation you're, that you're dealing with. In the possible outcome, you've got the full reversed with the Queen of Cups, okay? So definitely here, there's been a lot of trouble some, in a situation. Some of you could be dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to be the sign. This could be also you in energy. It doesn't matter if you're male or female, okay? But this is someone that's emotionally available, able to give love, very nurturing, very loving energy, okay? Uh, but went through a lot, okay? A lot of emotions and someone here is not taking a leap of faith in a situation so we're gonna see now here uh, what's happening for you as we're gonna clarify the cards So let's look at the uh, the sun card reversed in the overall, okay? Why is the sun reversed here for such terms? Okay, well, the, a lot of you, the unhappiness, whatever it was, the, <clears throat> what caused you unhappiness could have been some type of foundation. Could have been in your home, in your, fa in your family life, or, or it could have been in the workplace. Whatever it was here, there was not a strong foundation. There was too much interference, okay, that, that taking place. This, whatever this, not having any happy events taking place in a situation here. Okay, a lot of disappointments here also. And, uh, you know, so in, in whatever offer that was supposed to come in did not come in. But what I do see here is that you've been manifesting. Okay? And you have all the tools here desired to manifest your dreams come true. And I do see some type of relocation for you. Some of you are going to be going through a transition from uh, uh, manifest whatever that you've been manifesting coming to forefront. For those of you, this could be taking a vacation or, like I said, relocating or moving. In the overall, maybe you have already relocated or moved. Now, let's uh, continue. Let's look at the recent past. We've got the Two of Swords reversed. So let's look at the Two of Swords reversed here. you got the Nine of Cups reversed, followed by... Okay, I've got the cards already. Followed by the Two of Cups reversed and the Death card. There could have been an ending... Of a relationship or there was an ending that took place with Scorpio energy okay the decision was rendered here so there could be an ending and a new beginning taking place it's a huge transformation this had to do with something that was what that you truly wanted which it was a connection here could have been a relationship could be anything for you but there was a decision that was rendered number 22 and there was an ending now let's look at the nine of wands 
could be about anybody in your life. It doesn't only have to be about love, okay? So let's look at the Nine of Wands reversed. And what's crossing you here? Okay. Well, yeah. Definitely Pluto came in. Pluto came in. Okay. Unexpected change took place here. Unexpected change that took place. This had to do of your past. It was too, there was a lot of interferences, people, places, or situations. Maybe you're making plans with someone here, but it got disrupted. And a lot of you uh, lost faith and hope in a situation occurring in energy, okay? Um, or feeling that your dreams are ever gonna come true. You, you are, you, you're feeling hopeful sometimes, but at times I feel that, you know, that um, in the recent past year that you had to go through something, okay? And you felt hopeless about a situation coming true. Uh, with the four pentacles reversed here, uh, you were not holding on anymore or holding back who you truly are. Maybe sometime in August, September, and at this time now, even though it's in your past, there's a beautiful healing that occurred here. Okay, Leo energy, I got Aries energy, and the Ace of Cups energy, which is beautiful. This is what's crossing you. So this is about having self-confidence in yourself, the courage and the strength, and taming something within you. This could be about commitment, or a father figure, or a job, or some type of workplace for you. Okay, it's about setting up new rules and new boundaries, and also, it's about abundance. So I do feel that there's some type of abundance that's coming in because you went through the transformation, you're going through it, or you're, you passed this for some of you. And there is an ending, but there's also a new beginning taking place. Now, let's look at what Spirit wants you to focus on. This King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but let's see this King of Pentacles, what this is all about here. You got the page, you got the Nine of Pentacles reversed, the Ace of Wands reversed, the Nine of Wands. So yes, at one point, at one time, you were now moving forward, uh, making plans in moving forward, or someone here was not doing that. Someone here that was lacking passion, lacking motivation, and uh, also blocking themselves in moving forward. But what Spirit is showing me is that with appearances of swords energy, there's a new energy here because you've got abundance. you got the strength card. you got the emperor card, which is very, very, very like beautiful energy here. you got the death card, which is death and rebirth. There's a new way of perceiving things, new way of communication, more lighter, more positive. Okay, so it's very beautiful. Creative ideas are taking place in the work front. And there's not going to be any more blocking in that sense. Now, let's look at this Wheel of Fortune. Why it's reversed in the current energy. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed? You've got the King of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. Why is it? Okay, so we'll see why. Well, you've got the Five of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Taurus, and the King, the Knight of Wands reversed. Well, definitely here, some, okay, there's been disappointments 100% with this Wheel of Fortune. Some of you are feeling left out, ghosted, abandoned from the universe for things that you are truly desiring here. And you're looking back into the past and looking at that, okay? Um, this is about life lessons for you. Life lessons, what you have to go through. There's, it's not completed yet because you're not taking action in any shape, way, or form in the current energy. Okay, this could be also about higher learning and higher purpose. So you're dealing with a Taurus. Now let's look at the moon because you do have Neptune energy here that's playing a big part in why you're not. Maybe you're feeling confused at this uh, this week, right? But the moon also, also the moon is about the goddess, right? The goddess, a lot of people, when there's a full moon or a new moon, what do they do? They go to the goddess and they do rituals, right? So the goddess energy of the moon is about also giving you what's yours. 
and you and you are going to be going through in the current energy going through a, becoming more aware and going through a spiritual awakening okay and you have the hangman reversed the eight of wands the queen of wands and the ten of pentacles with the moon card this is about the fruit of life it could be about two people coming in together having completion unexpected money but something is definitely coming in for you because the moon is working in your favor because you're standing up to yourself whatever it is there's clarity here you're coming head to head speaking your truth in a situation here there's going to be a lot of communication coming back and forth okay very passionate but also very fast-paced messages and yes you surrendered you are going through a spiritual awakening at this time again you've got the queen of cups upright someone that's very nurturing very loving energy could be a pisces could be a cancer a scorpio it doesn't have to be this sign but i do have pisces and i have the scorpio someone that's loving and is able to move forward now let's look at the five of wands reversed here you got the princess of cups reversed the world and the three of pentacles whatever the situation here whatever once maybe there was a lot of fighting drama and that energy of jealousy ego in this it's it's evading from you but with the page of pentacles page of cups reverse here someone here it still needs healing some could be your inner child needs healing could be a child that you're dealing with for some of you someone here is not at this time really feeling it okay they're really into their emotions they're not able to give at this time but there is some type of completion in the current energy so the shift is the shift is there it may be subtle for some of you but it's there it's about coming full circle endings and new beginnings and pausing with the three of pentacles uh it talks about cooperation and a strong foundation so there is a strong foundation here now let's look at the Ace of Swords in the immediate future, Sagittarius. You got the Hermit reversed, the Six of Pentacles reversed, the Queen of Swords reversed. Oh wait, I forgot these two cards. Okay, I knew I forgot cards. Okay, let's go back because there's two cards here and these came from Let's go back to the current energy before I touch these cards. So yeah, all of this is happening, right? So there's like learn lessons, could be a marriage, someone feeling left out, abandoned, not taking action. Remember these cards? Okay. On the that, whatever it is that you're working on, Sagittarius, whatever that you're trying to perfect, whatever you're doing that you're working away long hours or trying to come up with something to perfect, keep working and putting energy on it. Because that's why the Ten of Pentacles is coming in. Because the King of Swords is upright. This is about this is about finding solutions. Okay, finding solution, having the communication, having the clairvoyance, having seeing and knowing, and it's about communication. It's about clearing the fog and communication, being really on focus here. So those cards belong there. Now let's go to the immediate future. In the immediate future, you got the Ace of Swords. There will be some type of communication, being clear. Your crown is where it needs to be clear and focused here okay and uh again you're showing me the hermit reversed the six of pentacles reversed and the queen of swords reversed there's definitely something out of balance here or someone is around you that's off balance here someone here is definitely coming out of the dark night of the soul 100 percent virgo energy okay uh for some of you okay someone's coming out of the hermit stage uh where it's a, and where someone here with the queen of swords reversed is feeling still not be able to communicate still not be able, being able to perceive any someone cut you out or you cut somebody out here definitely anger and with the there is a connection here a beautiful connection a divine connection gemini energy and there's a choice to be made i'm going to ask for another card for the queen of swords reversed with the six of pentacles reversed and the hermit reversed give me a second here i need to see something king of cups upright Okay. 
I just wanted to know what that what what was going on here because what it's showing me here is that there was some type of heartbreak, some type of loss in the immediate future. Someone here, there's too much confusion in the situation. Someone here not being able to, like I said, express themselves. Someone here not being emotional, uh, emotional ready. Because someone here is definitely coming out of the hermit stage or coming out of a, at the time of, a, of a, the night of the dark, the soul of the dark. Wait, I mean, forgetting the words, but you know what I mean. Okay, so coming out of the dark night of the soul energy. Someone here that's not feeling passionate, that's not feeling motivated with the queen of wands reversed. Okay, but what it's being shown to me, right, is that yes, you're going to be going through this energy because there's an ending, a new beginning taking place for you. There's a beautiful transformation. You will have abundance. You will have the strength, the healing. This is a commitment. Whatever it is, whatever commitment it is, setting new boundaries. There is completion here. There is uh, the Ten of Pentacles energy. Okay, a lot of you are going through a spiritual awakening. It's about trusting the universe and God energy, creator, source, and really going with the leap of faith into this, all right? So there's something that's going to be transforming here. That's 100%. And you've got the King of Cups upright. So there is some, there is the King and Queen. There's two loving people here, energy. Someone that is able to give and receive love. Someone that's emotionally available. Because they're coming out of the dark night of the soul. So it doesn't, okay, I come out of the dark night of the soul and I'm ready. No, it takes time before you come out. Even if you come out of the dark night of the soul, still need time too. You know, so there's a time period here. With the Empress, there's new opportunities taking place for you. Having that Maya's touch. It's about creativity, fertility. Fertility could be, yes, pregnancy for some of you out there. For those of you, this is about creative ideas that are going to take place. Okay, and again, the choice has to be made here. There is a choice that has to be made. All right? Now, let's look at the Seven of Wands reversed here. Some of you are fearing the worst in a situation here. Or you're feeling defeated. You've got the King of Wands reversed and the Queen of Wands, right? got king and queen you want reversed the eight of cups this chariot reversed and the hopes and fears is there anything else the nine of pentacles reversed there's definitely someone here around you Sagittarius, I don't know who it is. Someone here is, there's some type of codependency they're dealing with. Okay, I could be dealing with a cancer energy, doesn't have to be. I have all the water signs here. Uh, someone here that's not working on themselves, they're not independent. Someone here, chariot energy, not regain, they're not taking their power back, not able to move forward in a situation. They're not taking action whatsoever, going after what they want. They feel defeated. And it feels like there's going to be someone walking away. All right. Now let's look at the Nine of Swords and what's being hidden from you. You got the Two of Pentacles. Temperance, you came into your own reading. The Five of Cups reversed. What's this all about? Justice reversed. The Fool reversed. Five of Swords reversed. Okay. So yeah, it may feel like you're defeated. It may feel like it, it's the end of the world or the end of something that took place, but there's something coming in for you 100%. There's a new beginning. You've got the Emperor and the Empress. You've got all the suitors here, right? You've got the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Did you get the Queen of Pentacles? No, you got the King of Pentacles. But you still have all the suitors. You have the cups, the swords, the wands. Okay, there is a situation here where you lost sleep. Maybe you were thinking of someone, someone was thinking of you. There was this form of worry here in the situation where once maybe there was lies and deceit and people not having your back, uh, worried about people not having your back here. But the five, one of the five, even if the five of swords is reversed, it's still not a good card, but at least it's, you found clarity and you broke free from that. Okay, um, Still something is off balance in the month of October for some of you, okay? Or with a Libra. There's something that's still not in balance here. And it could be lies or deception here. Or just lies in the situation. Some of you may, some, may be pulled in two different directions or multitasking. There's a need to be grounded here. 
uh, not taking that leap of faith, not moving forward at this time. With the Five of Cups to reverse, you're coming full circle. Full circle, releasing the hurt, the grief, the resentment, uh, the, the loss, whatever you have to go through. There could be closure. Yeah, Sagittarius, you could be the one giving the closure. There could also be a reconciliation. Maybe you're dealing with another Sagittarius, but you need to have patience. Okay? And it's about moderating your life. And communication is the key here in this situation. Now, let's look at the full reverse in the possible outcome. We've got the High Priestess. There's a lot of activity outside. The Ten of Swords reversed. The Seven of Wands. The Fire of Wands reversed with the Empress energy. Now let's look at the Queen of Cups. What is meant to be yours, Sagittarius, will always come to you. We always remember that. You're not taking that leap of faith. Good. You know why? You know why. Why? Because you need. You are trusting your intuition. Okay? You're taking baby steps. This is about following your intuition. All right? Yes. Karmically, there's a lot of endings that took place in your life in the last 10 years. For some of you, in the last 15 years, it's been very, very difficult. When it came to finances, relationships, people could be in your family as well. Something karmic at the end. It took the ending took place already, okay? But like I said, there's a shift that's happening in the month of November for you. And you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it around you. You need to have gratitude. That's very important to have gratitude. Even in the little things, it does help to raise your vibration and to bring in what it is that you want from the universe, okay? And whatever that uh, you feel that you, you overcame, you overcame it with the Seven of Wands. It's about overcoming the situation, okay? And with the Empress energy, it talks about, again, new, new opportunities, having that mindless touch. It could be a, a creative ideas, birthing new ideas. When I looked at the Queen of Cups, I asked about the Queen of Cups. Okay, there's someone here that's loving, nurturing, giving. You've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Devil card. Saturn energy or Capricorn and the three of wands. Definitely there's a breakthrough from what? Your fears, difficult moments, patterns, habits. Could be anything, okay? Um, and uh, definitely there's some something coming in. Something is definitely coming in. The Ace of Pentacles is coming in with some type of money, okay? Or some type of gift. It's the beginning of a start of some type of stability. And the three of wands energy, your manifestations are coming true. Okay, and this could be sometime around your birthday or after your birthday or around that time. It could also be in the month of November. All depends. Um, but definitely here, uh, you know, it's about your manifestation, your dreams or your ships coming in. And underneath the deck, I have the Wheel of Fortune. So, this is about second chances. Something is clearing up for you here, and definitely Sagittarius. It's about something that's destined and faded and it's coming your way. And there's a lot of luck in this energy. There's something that's being offered to you. But this time you're looking at it. You're not rejecting this. You're thinking very hard because you've probably been hurt. Uh, you've been, uh, you, uh, you were surrounded with people that did not have your back for a long time. Uh, maybe you tried many different opportunities or venues and people backstabbed you. But this time you're looking at it different because look. You got the Queen of Pentacles. Stability. Being reliable. The Queen and King of their own castle. It's a very beautiful reading. So I hope you enjoyed it. And now we're going to look at the signs that show up in your reading. Not only that, I will give you the planets that are affecting you at this time. Especially for those of you, oh, wait a second, again, these are two cards, and I do that, and I kind of forget about the cards I put aside, but there's these two other cards that came into your reading, and, I, and I'm sure you, you saw me putting the cards aside, so I will show them to you, I don't know where they fall, because I do not remember now, I think it was in your current energy, 
you got the Ten of Cups with the Page of Wands. There is in there is a uh, the Page of Wands is about a start of something passionate towards you, where you feel within you. You've been seeing the signs and feeling it. This is about positive news concerning your happiness. This could be about a relationship, a soulmate, being contented. If you're single, this is about your community, your home, your home. But for others of you, there is a soulmate energy here. Sorry if I didn't give you that before, but anyway. Now, things that happen, okay? Sag, and plus, I'm doing this reading very, very late. All right, so um, thank you for your patience. So now, let's look at the planets and the signs that came into your reading. All right, now for this for the planets, for the planets that are maybe in for especially for those of you <clears throat> that do follow your chart. Okay, I will give you the planets that maybe there's a conjunction, sextile, or square. Okay, for so for those of you, and that's very important because that also will reveal many things that are taking place and why sometimes there's hiccups or things that don't come very quickly. It's because of the planets as well, right? So you have Jupiter that's affecting you, Pluto, Lilith, Venus, Mars, Saturn, Neptune, the south node in Sagittarius, and that's it. All right, so those are the ones. And uh, I guess you got all the you got all the signs, Sagittarius. So <laughs> you know you're dealing with a lot of people or situations here. Okay, so you got all the signs. And um, okay, so let's do heart to heart, soul to soul. We're gonna do the bonus round. Okay. Now. How does heart to heart, soul to soul? Well, a lot of people have a hard time sometimes being vulnerable. Uh, they're scared to get hurt or they're scared that, that they're not gonna get the answers that they're wanting or they have too much expectations. This could be about anybody in your life. This could be about you. This could be about you giving the message or someone giving a message to you, Sagittarius. Uh, this could be about a loved one. It could be about your daughter, your son, your grandkids. It could be about your mother, your father, your family, your extended family. It could be about your lover, a friend, someone that you haven't spoken to for a long time. Uh, or it could be about uh, also um, someone that crossed over. It could be about your soulmate, your better half. Okay, so let's get started with heart to heart, soul to soul. Let's start with Gemini. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, Sagittarius, Gemini, you're compassionate. They have repressed emotions at this time. They're controlling. They have gratitude. Gemini. They have guilt. They're feeling annoyed. There's anger. There's, they're passionate. And they're also anxious. Is there anything else for Gemini? Yes. They're saying you are the one. 
if you're dealing with a Gemini. If you're dealing with a Libra, such stories, a Libra. You are old flames. What we have is a soul, a soul recognition. You deserve more. <clears throat> you deserve more. <clears throat> There's shame. There's shame here. There's grief. They're bored. I want to be vulnerable with you. I want to talk to you. I want a future with you. If you're dealing with a Libra. Anything else? Yes. The changes are real. Anything else with Libra? Anything else with Libra? And they're feeling annoyed. If you're dealing with a Libra. Sagittarius, if you're dealing with a Taurus, there's joy. Nervous. Heartbroken. They're bitter. They're daydreaming. Trust me. You are twin flames. I am sending you telepathic messages. I regret how I handled things before. There's denial. You're feeling distant. And there's a secret here. Anything else? Yes. Oh boy. There's a lot. Taurus has a lot to say here. Uh, I just need more time. I won't let you go. They're feeling nostalgic. They're feeling stuck. And they're indecisive. If you're dealing with a Taurus. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Sagittarius. A Cancer. I'm making plans. I don't care what people think anymore. I had no idea you would end up meaning so much to me. They're feeling ap apologetic. They're feeling nostalgic. There's sadness there. I've been having I've been having weird dreams about us. Your words speak to me like no others can. They're loving. That's it for cancer. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Sagittarius, Virgo, you're stressed. I remember everything you said. You are hard to forget. You're feeling triggered. You're frustrated. Virgo, anything else for Virgo? That's it for Virgo. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Sagittarius, a Scorpio, I can't stop thinking of you. You hit me out of nowhere. Be patient with me, please. No one else matters now. Our eye contact is insane. I can't walk away. I just want to go back in time. We will be together again. I am working on myself. If you're dealing with a Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Pisces, such Darius, a Pisces. If I only known then what I know now. You were so unexpected. You're feeling excited. I am afraid to trust. I don't want to let you down. They're fantasizing. They're hopeful. Wait for me if you're dealing with a Pisces. If you're dealing with an Aquarius. They don't want to say much. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, I don't know why they want they don't want to speak. Okay. Suddenly all the songs I hear are about you. They have fear. Is there anything else? They're doubting. I thought about reaching out, but I don't know what to say. They have good intentions if you're dealing with an Aquarius. 
If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Sagittarius, there's, they're anxious, they're, they have envy. My karmic story is ending and I'm overcoming my fears. Is there anything else? Yes. They are safe. If you're dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, a Leo, I'm ready for more than just text messages. I am choosing you. My nerves get the best of me sometimes, if you're dealing with a Leo. You change my whole direction. Is there anything else for Leo? Yes. And they're passionate. Leo. If you're dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, Aries, they're feeling wishy-washy, they are cold, they have guilt. I'm trying to figure things out. Anything else? I'm sorry I triggered you. Anything else? That's it for Aries. Now, Sagittarius, last but not least, if you're dealing with another Sagittarius, or this is you and how you're feeling. Confused, excited, guarded, calm, honest. It's hard for me to explain things. Is there anything else? Yes. You will always be my secret love. Anything else for such Darius? You have resentment. Anything else for such Darius? I don't want to miss my chance with you. You're feeling angry. I want your attention. Is there anything else or such? You have repressing energy. I miss you more than you know. And that is your bonus round. All right. Now we're going to look at the crystals that we'll need for this week. That they all have the same color scheme green, brown, white. Let's take a look at first one you got is Bloodstone Heliotrope. This is how it looks like. Okay, and uh, so this is for the heart and root chakra, it grounds heart chakra energy, it brings spirituality into everyday life. It calms aggression and irritability. Bloodstone Heliotrope. This is your first crystal that you will need for this week and for as long as you need it. Next one is Emerald. This is a heart chakra energy for the heart chakra. And it calms and opens the heart chakra. It promotes unconditional love and encourages cooperation and understanding. So Heliotrope, Emerald, and you have Diamond. This is for the crown and third eye. It cleanses the aura. It re-energizes re the aura and chakras. It brings you to your soul's purpose and it promotes wisdom and enlightenment. So you got diamond, heliotrope, and emerald for your crystals for as long as you need them. And now we're gonna look at sacred geometry.
we've got number 42, which equals to a six. And the six talks about prosperity. So you've got joy. Create joy and happiness, Sagittarius. And your affirmation is, I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be happy. And so it is. When this card appears, it lets you know you are on the right track. Joy and happiness are yours for the taking. What is it you are rejoicing and feeling happy and content about? Something right now is giving you great pleasure in your life. Maybe there's a great stability in your home life or a new and promising personal or professional partnership. It could be it could even be that everything you have asked for has fallen into place and you are feeling overjoyed. Success is yours for the keeping. You are on track and the fruits of your labor are now being seen. Don't stop now. When we trust ourselves and our intention of what we want to create, joy and happiness abound. Keep your mind and heart focused and on track. Put your will and desire into action and remember that thoughts are powerful. Your belief system creates the empowerment needed for success to be achieved. Content contentment is there for the taking. And the crystals that you will need uh, to carry with you, if you like, is citron, carnelian, peridot, and tangerine, tangerine quartz. Also, emerald and diamond are also very important here. Okay, and that's your card. And now, last but not least, we're going to look at what the universe has in store for you. Seventeen, which equals to an eight, and we've got eight, eight, eight. Abundance is here, and they're saying miracles happen. Give the universe your clear intention, Sagittarius. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful Sagis. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back, and I love you all. And we are one, and we are love. Please take care, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.